It's now time for us to declare God's wonders among his people that as the wind of change blows, may his wonders be multiplied in all of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We take the online testimonies and first and thereafter we take the live testifiers and should you be partaking in this service tonight online anywhere all over the nations of the earth and as the wind of change is blowing your testimony reaches to you please go to www.org and click on testimonies and just print out type out your testimonies and the lord will multiply them in jesus mighty name the first tonight online is from brother Oluwa Shemilori Salami from Nigeria he suffered a domestic accident which led to the, the tearing of his two legs and he lost a lot of blood one of the legs had to be stitched subsequently he laid the handkerchief prayed on by Daddy Gio during the 2024 annual convention on the wounds and the miraculously today he is perfectly healed the next is from sister Adeyemi Dockers from the United Kingdom she had taken the driving test six times and all the six times she did she failed the test then, during the 2024 October Holy Ghost service last month, she connected to the Holy Ghost service online, and that the Geo gave a word of knowledge that someone who has been failing will never fail again. The following week, she went for the seventh test, and as she took the seventh test, she passed after the word of knowledge. Sister Oluwato Sinjibodu from Nigeria. She had been having migraine for 11 years. And this sometimes paralyzed a side of her body. During the light up crusade in Ede, Oshun State, Nigeria, in January 2024, herself and her friends touched the table that the Geo ministered from and in faith she asked God for her healing God answered her she no longer experiences migraine attack since then and no more paralysis let somebody shout hallelujah <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Ajiboye from Nigeria they had been trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb for six years. And at the September 2022 Holy Ghost service, Daddy Gio gave a word of knowledge that God said there will be no more failures. They keyed into the word of knowledge and they were also prayed for by Daddy. The following year, 2023, God blessed them with a baby boy. Last from the online testifiers tonight is from the United States of America, Sister Kenny Olashukbo. She completed her PhD in 2017 and subsequently had been believing God and trusting God for career breakthrough. She keyed into one of the prophecies spoken by her father and the Lord that the Geo and God showed up for her. After seven years of waiting, the yoke of joblessness was broken. Let somebody give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Miss Blossom from I want to thank God. For the salvation of my, um, 
happened that last up to last year, August. I, I was struggling. I was just going through a lot, and I knew that God had been reaching out to me, calling out to me for so long. But then I didn't know how to accept His love. But then during the convention last year, I knew that that was the moment when my life was going to change. And then on Friday, during the Holy Ghost service, specifically on the 11th, by 9.30 a.m., 9.30 p.m., the pastor preached a message titled, Jesus, the master of your boat. And indeed, I knew that Jesus needed to be the master of my boat. And right there and there, I surrendered my life to Christ. And to God be the glory, my life has changed. I no longer look like the person that I used to be. I now have joy. I now have peace. Praise the Lord! Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And Mrs. Adam Evelyn, region 28, Nassara Province 5. I've been having serious afflictions. I want to give God the glory. During this convention, I came purposely to face, you know, to tell God, Father, I'm tired of all these afflictions, health issues. I want to thank God for the power, the, 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 the prayer our daddy prayed for us. But when I got back to my station, I've been attending uh, programs in our region, probably other, but every night before I sleep, I say, Lord, this is a handkerchief our Father in the Lord has prayed over. I make sure I sleep and I put it to that place because when I went to the hospital, I did a series of tests and what the doctor told me was that I had some virus in my kidney and I rejected it. I want to thank God that when we came this time around, I went to a redemption health center and I did a series of tests also. And this result is telling me that everything is over. I want to give God a glory. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Who did it? Jesus, oh my God. Wow. Praise the Lord. We are brother and sister Ebiowe Tobi, Sokoto Region 18. This is a testimony of barrenness for 17 years that was broken. This is the short story. The glory you see today has a story behind it. When we were posted to Gombe, Light Up Gombe Crusade came up and that the geo visited Gombe for the Light Up Crusade. I had the privilege of driving Daddy Gio, and my wife had the privilege of making the fruit drinks for Daddy Gio. And Daddy now asked me I should bring my wife and the children that they could pray for us. So I told him that we are still believing God for the fruit of the womb. Daddy smiled. And he said, bring your wife. So the morning he was to go, he prayed for us. Now this journey of 17 years, on the second year of our marriage, we found out that my wife had fibroid. And for 12 years plus, we tried to see what we can do because the fibroid was located in the uterus. And after the prayers from Daddy Gio in February 2022, Light Up Crusade in Gombe. 32 fibroids were removed from my, from my wife's womb. After then, we went for medical treatment. And in August 2023, the DGO said that there is somebody here. This month you will be pregnant and you will give birth to a child. That child will not be an ordinary child. That child will not be an ordinary child. In that same August, our medical treatment went through. And today, this is the evidence. Daddy said, I will hear your testimony. And this is the testimony. My wife, at age 56, carried the pregnancy by herself and delivered 24th of April, 2024. Somebody shout hallelujah!
praise the Lord. I, I sincerely want to thank God for this opportunity to come before the congregation of men of God to share this testimony and most importantly to redeem my vow to come here. I have two testimonies. The first one quickly, August 2021, they called me. It was a Friday of the convention. And they called me and they said that my daughter, that she couldn't talk, something hit her and she could not talk anymore. Anyway, at the end of the day, she ended up in the hospital. They started doing all sorts of tests. They didn't see anything wrong with her. She could not talk. She could not remember her name. She could not even do anything. After that was Friday. By Saturday, she wasn't improving. So we moved her to another hospital. They repeated all the tests. Nothing was found wrong. Yet she was not able to remember her name. Then by the night of that Saturday, they said we could not stay with her in the hospital. We should go home. As I was getting home that day, the television was on and uh, the communion was on. And Daddy Gio said, if you must remember to do this in his name, that means that you must be able to remember things. So Daddy Gio said, he's praying that everyone who has lost their memory, that everyone that is not remembering things, that as they take this communion, they will be able to come back and remember things. Immediately, it was as if Daddy Gio was waiting for me. I didn't see anything. I just saw biscuits and water. And I just connected. I put it on the television to connect with what Daddy Gio was holding. The following morning, I went to the hospital, gave it to my daughter. People of God, by the evening, the person they said was going to start speech therapy, the person they, that could not remember her name, the person that could not even know where she was, by that evening, she was able to come back and they discharged her from the hospital. And up to today, up to today, she has never had to forget her, 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 her name or anything. The second testimony, our children got married in 2017 and they've been waiting for the fruit of the womb. And each one of us, both of us, at different times, would either come to the front of the altar at the old auditorium or go to uh, open heaven house. And we have been believing God that God would do it. And they, they, they went to see the doctor and the doctor said, what I have seen from all the tests that I have done, there is no how both the combination of you and your husband would ever have a child by yourself, and except by IVF. And even the IVF is 50-50. And we have been going either open heaven house or in front of the uh, altar at the old auditorium. And lo and behold, so God be the glory. Last year, they got pregnant. Without, naturally, without any intervention. The people that God, that doctor said they can never, ever have a child. And the testimony for that to it is that at 20 something weeks, the doctor discovered through scan that the fluid surrounding the baby had dried up completely. And I asked the doctor, what's the prognosis? The doctor said, it's only God that can do it. They cannot say anything. And they, they, they managed it to 30-something weeks, 32 weeks. And they said they would do CS. It was during the April, shielded by fire. And I came in front of the altar. And I said, God... You are saying shielded by fire. Water that is supposed to be around this child, there is no water. But the three Hebrew men were inside fire. And you saved them. That means that you are going to save this baby. 
you are shielding this baby with, with fire. And lo and behold, the DCS, this baby came out. Even though premature, I came back and I asked God, God, if you allow this child to live, I will come back and dedicate and show to the people that God works. Enoch, Olua Jare, Olua Shemilore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who did this? Glory. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I am happy Sunday. Aladikbae. I was privileged to visit Gainesville in Florida during the hurricane. And while the hurricane was being expected, there was panic, there was confusion in the entire Florida. My host took me out on the eve of the day that the hurricane was expected. That was a Tuesday night. The streets were empty. The shops were closed. There was fair in Florida. And so I remember that I came with the miracle and catch you from the redemption city of God. At about 12.30, AM. I went on my knees. I said, God of that DE Adeboye, if you will keep me safe in Gainesville and you will kindly and mercifully divert the wind from this place, when I get back to Nigeria, I will tell the people of God about what you have done again. Brethren, the God of Dadi Adeboye answered that prayer by fire. He diverted the storm over the city of Gainesville in Florida. And here I am today, giving glory to the Almighty God. Who did it? My name is Pastor Mrs. Florence Anthony Erins, and I'm here with my son, David Osakbolo Anthony Erins. We have come to appreciate God and to thank our Daddy Jew. And the title of my testimony is The God of Pastor Enoch Adejare Adeboye. Why I titled this is because for three years, my son was afflicted with madness. That defied all medical interventions. I brought him to the camp and left him there. Left him in the camp here. But August this year during convention on Wednesday, he just became violent. Since that August convention up till last month, I've been moving from one place to another. Then I then brought him here last last uh, October Holy Ghost service here for daddy Gio to lay hands on him and when i was breaking him because he was so violent i they had to they have to handcuff his hand and his leg and inject him they have to handcuff his hand and his leg and they inject and they injected him and after that did you lay hands on him that night when i took him home a night after he became more violent and i was alone in the room with him i prayed but nothing but out of desperation, I shouted, the God of Pastor Enoch and the and the demon disappeared, and my son became normal. That is what you can see today. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you. Um, this, I believe this month, that is your said something concerning me, he said that it's impossible to rest, something like it's impossible to restore ashes to firewood and i noticed that that same day before he said it that my life was not seeming like a good thing because that was after he laid down on me and i got better so eventually i just believe that they were talking to me because i was just wondering what is life about because i didn't know too much about myself or what was going on so I, he said that he wants to hear my testimony that's why i came back and said to, to still talk about it for my, my mom 
blows me out. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. Praise Jesus. the Lord. I thank God for my life. My name is Akashoro Emmanuel. There was a stream down down our street, like three years. And many years this stream was there, and so many people as went there to go and do one thing and the other. When they have one injury and the other, they will not be able to come back again. But I thank God for my life. Year 2017, there was one of our daddy that sent me there to go and cut Babu out of him. Out, outside to want to use it. I went there, cutting the Bible. The, the Bible, uh, I have cut five out of 20. Out, among the Bible now stretched me in my face that led me from that Bible and I fell down. That my nose and my mouth, even my head, was bleeding blood. Seriously, that I fainted like 10 minutes. As I just opened my eyes to look to the heaven, I see one man wear white and old sword. He straight that sword to where I, where, I, where I was. Immediately, I received strength to get up. When I reached home, when my sister and my mommies, when they saw me, because my daddies have died, there is no more. When they, when they now saw me, they are starting crying. That, Where are my sins? They are looking for me. You know, it's just that I thank God that I come back. They treated me, and that just speak a word to me that I hear in my, in my ear. Then when I reached out, one brother told me that I should come and deposit 30,000. But I thank God. Now went. Praise the Lord. The redeemed of the Lord, praise the Lord. My name's are Jeremiah Angbe, aka the street pastor. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God after 12 years and 7 months through that the intervention, the Lord released me from prison. And I quickly use this opportunity to appreciate that the Jew on three point, at the Jew, I was the one, the general pastor who wrote you a letter for the intervention of my case. Uh, thank you very much. You uh, received the letter and you sent somebody to verify after the end, that was last year, and uh, uh, I received a governor's pardon. I was still the same person who wrote to you for the expansion of the church. He supported with five million, and uh, the project is ongoing. Even though I'm no longer there, I still go there to minister. Thirdly, uh, the rice you sent to us, that rice on its own is a pastor. How did that make Christ? I went to church after I arrived there in Kirikiri and uh, I went for the rise and Jesus arrested me. Before I left, I left there as a general pastor there in Midian Correctional. As I'm talking to us now, I'm a student of National Open University and even tomorrow I'll be on the street. Last Saturday I was in Star FM telling the world that crime does not pay and that's what I do. I make that vow and that's what I continue to do. Even tomorrow, I'll be on the street. Jesus for life. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. I'm David. My name is David Odeni, Ogun Province 14, Region 44. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And for delivering me from the hand of tumor that was troubling me. June 1st, 2024, after activities, I lay down on the three-seater. 
Unconsciously, I fell down. One of my children saw me and called the attention of my wife, and I was later rushed to the hospital. After treatment at the hospital, my pastor and some people that are close to me were called. They pray on, for me. After the prayer, same day, I had another seizure. So, after a few days, I was referred to a lawsuit where the doctor discovered that I have two more in my head. So, he said this thing can be done, but with some condition. Number one, I may not be able to walk effectively. Two, I may not be able to move my limbs, the upper and the lower one. And the third one, I may not survive it. I was surprised. I was downcasted. However, I know God will intervene. So my wife called me, how much do you have in your account? Because the doctor said, we, okay. So that one, I was going through it. One Sunday, my provincial pastor, Pastor Adeola Adenuga, called me and my wife, and uh, he prayed for us, and he advised us that we should write that the geo. Of course, we did that one. And I got two responses, one on July 15, and the other one on 24. And he says, we have prayed concerning your letter. We will be here to hear your testimony. On August 13, 2024, I was scheduled for an operation. I was weak to the theater. On getting there, the operation was canceled. September 10, we were scheduled for another war. And we went there. We took three blood of a three pounds of blood. Okay. So after the operation, the God of Redeemed Christian Church of God, against everything that the doctor have said concerning their experience, he took the hand of the doctor and the operation was successful. When they finished the operation, I could see my wife recognize my wife. I could lay, I lift up my hands. I can walk, I can move my limbs, I can see people around me. Who has done this one except the God of redeemed Christian Church of God? Somebody shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! My name is Alex Bosu from Lagos Province 91, Togolese, based in Badagri. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and also the salvation of the soul of my wife. Um, I came from a family that the only thing they worship is a God of Python and a God of Thunder. But I'm not always flowing with them to worship those things. My spirit is not always with them. But they, somehow my father permitted my siblings and cousins to go to church, but they say, me, I can never. But one particular Christmas day, I say, I want to go to church. I want to go and see what these people are doing there. My father threatened me, that if you try it, you run mad. Somehow I was scared, because they are, it happened to people like that in the village there. And they try it, they run mad. So I waited till somehow destiny took me to Nigeria. I came here, I met Jesus. Anytime I enter, I found myself in the redeemed Christian church of God. Anytime I attended services, that's the thing the head will just be doing as if it want to explode. One day, I have to talk to God. God, what is this? Do something about this. Somehow the thing stopped. Secondly, I went to Edo State 2015 for a contract. We are asleep in the middle of the night. The building collapsed on us. We came out alive. Nothing happened to us. Thirdly, in 2017, I came to the old arena and make a vow to God that if you give me a wife, because I suffer all manners of heartbreak, you give me a wife, I'm not going to talk to any lady, just give me a woman, my wife. So God gave me a 2018. 2018, I got married. I got married, and God did not just give me a wife, He gave me a life partner. And lastly, 2019, during the COVID, uh, we couldn't go to church, but we had a fellowship with my, in my uncle's house. So they brought a madman that was mad for nine good years. And they told me, my uncle told me that by the end of everything, you're going to pray for him. But they told me that this man, if you want to pray for him, we will end up praying for you. So I was kind of scared. So 
I remember I went there with the anointed handkerchief by Jew. So I hid it in my palm. So I used it to just choke the man. After five days, they told me that the man got well. To God be the glory. And lastly, I just want to thank God for the life of my father in the Lord, Daddy Adeboye. And I also want to pray that God should help him to pray for me more, to do more for this kingdom. And the next nine months, I'll come with my children. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Praise from RCCG, the Oasis Lagos. I'm yet to fulfill my vow to God. I'm thanking God for the salvation of my soul and for miraculous healing. My testimony happened four years ago, precisely November 2020. I felt very sick and it was so severe that I was placed on oxygen for, um, for some days. Um, due to the symptoms I, symptoms I had, um, the doctors thought I had COVID-19, so I was isolated at the Ogun State Isolation Center. While at the isolation center, that the GO prayed with me on the phone, and he said, your healing will be a miracle that will surprise the doctors and nurses. And I said, amen. That increased my faith and trust in God for healing. So the next day, the nurses who told me that they were going to burn my clothes because they thought I had COVID, came with smiles rejoicing that the results of the test that was taken came out and it's negative. So they helped me pack my things and I was discharged from the hospital. Then I got admitted at another hospital where I got proper treatment. And since the day I left the isolation center, the Lord fast-tracked my healing. I give God all the glory for that, the GO, and I pray more anointing for him in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Maestro Adishola Taiwo. I'm here to thank God for academics, big true, breakthrough. I've been writing exam precisely since 2019. I've been writing exams since 2019, writing WAEC, fail it, write NECO, fail it. Ah, people even advise me, is it because they're not engaging in my practice, blah, 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 blah. This is your pastor, pastor, whatever, it's too much. 2020, the same thing, 2021. I, I was just tired. I said, God, I engage in my practice 2021. And I failed. Those that engaged in my practice, they passed. I said, what is going on? I said, no, okay, there's no problem. 2020, I did not write exam 2022. I said, God, it's over to you. So this year, God used Pastor Shade Paul to pay part of my NECO fee because I couldn't afford WAEC. So I sat down for NECO. I studied. I burned midnight candles. So I told God, I came to August Convention. The last day that he gave a specific word on Lord that there's a student here. God said, you will never fail again. I shouted, Amen. Then he was about to round off the service. He said there's a project, college project there, and something like project, and a, who can be a friend of the university donation. So the Holy Spirit told me to sow a seed. That was my three months salary because I'm, I'm teaching a school and they're about to send a three months lesson fee. I tied that seed to my academic breakthrough. And then he did more part of me. I said, ah, why will you give this seed? I said, no, shut up. I sowed the, I sowed the, I sowed the seed, and by last two months, the result came out. I had the station. Not only that, God also is it for us uh, for scholarship and thank, thank God for using that you mightily. And I know that today God will use it mightily to speak to my heart desire in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. People of God, it's been a harvest of miracles, signs, and divine wonders. Can we rise on our faith and show our appreciation to the Lord? Wave to Jesus and shout, Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful. Let's chorus it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We bless your name. Thank you for confirming your word. We give you praise. Thank you for undeniable, notable miracles. Thank you for the signs. Thank you for the wonders. Thank you. Thank you for your... Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to your name. Be thou exalted, Father. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. <laughs>